Gina Six. Free the Gina Six. Free the Gina Six. Free the Gina Six. Free the Gina Six. No justice, no peace. 2007. This ain't the Jim Crow era. We some new Negroes. We some filled Negroes. We'll cut your head off like Nat Turner and not even sweating. Come on, Gina, what you want? Let's go. All right, now just film me. Tony Beat Conscious, live from Venice Beach. Always, if anybody wants to know anything of political or about what's going on in the black community on Venice Beach, they always come to me. You know why? Because I'm on the front line. Before I sell out, I get the hell out. Only brother on Venice Beach who don't date white girls. Don't get down like that. Black on purpose, not by accident. The black CNN of Venice Beach. When people want to know their history, their culture, from somebody who don't bend and move and sway with the wind, they come to me. Step and fetch it, been dead. So I'm in effect. I'm out here on Venice Beach today, trying to tell everybody about the Gina Six case, about the six young brothers sat under the white tree in Gina, Louisiana, came back the next day, some white boys put some nooses on the damn tree. All right, so then they get in an argument. The DA tells the what? Tells the black children that I can erase your life with the stroke of a pen if you don't quit protesting this. Understandable. We understand that a cracker gonna be a cracker. So then white boys try to jump on the six brothers. They fight back. White man pulls a gun on the crack, on the, on the brothers. They take the gun from the white boy. Then they burn down the whole damn school building. Not the brothers, but you know they did. They burned down the whole damn school building. Then they, six of them or more of them, jump on one of the brothers at a party. Next day, the brothers see one of the dudes who jumped on him whoop his butt whoop his butt, they get arrested. Now they're all in jail for quote unquote attempted murder charges facing 22 years of peace because they fought back. Now is that wiggity wiggity whack or what? This is, this is 2007. This ain't 1957, 1947, 1937. Black folks need to stand up. We need to get these brothers out of jail. I'm riding. I'm RBG for life. Red, black, and green. And what makes me most upset is Massa P and all these motherfucking rappers with money talking all this shit, bling bling everything. It's right down in Louisiana. You ain't took $90,000 that you spent on some bullshit or disrespecting our sisters or buying some gold Toofuses or some rims or some bullshit. You can't take $90,000 and get this brother out of jail? Nobody should ever buy your records again. You bullshit. You ain't hip hop, you rap. And we sick of that crap. We sick of y'all talking loud but ain't saying nothing. Yo, this is going down to Gina, Louisiana. Tony be on the front line. I'm going, I'm riding. Me and my people, we riding. RBG. To Gina, Louisiana, September 20th, be there. There are going to be about like 100,000 black folks mobbing on the town. Let me tell you a little something else about Gina, Louisiana. In Gina, Louisiana, 60% of the population voted for David Duke. There's still a barber shop right now. Black people can't go in in Gina, Louisiana. Right now. We need to run them. We need to run up in that town and do a watch riots on the end. For real, but that's what's up. September 20th, Gina, Louisiana, we ride. Peace.